Okay, we're just getting started. We've harvested two nice hamstring tendons. I want to give you the initial view into the medial compartment. Here's this medial meniscus. You can see this tear. And it's really what we call a bucket handle tear. It wasn't when we started, but because um, of the injury, it, it can slip into the joint like it has here. And so we're going to reduce that and do our best to repair that. You can see how it sits over here in the central part of the knee in the notch. And so that meniscus needs to be addressed, obviously. We can't just leave it like that for you. We're going to get to where I just want to show you what it looks like when we first look inside. We'll get you some more pictures in just a minute. Okay, so what we're going to try and do here is take this probe and reduce the meniscus. Hold the camera here, Vern. So it partly helps to put a little bit of valgus on the knee. Uh, stay in right there. What's my pump pressure set on? Let's go up to 44. So you can see we're getting there. It's reducing a bit. That looks a little bit better here, doesn't it? Okay. You can see the inner edge. And again, rather than just take this meniscus out, we're going to do our best to save it. Now we're getting to see the posterior horn a little better too. And so now that meniscus is reduced. It's not really a root tear. The root looks intact. Hold the camera there. Table down just a little bit, please. Okay, great. And so that's what we're going to try and reconstruct right here. Get this meniscus looking like that again. We'll go off on the video for just a minute. Okay, so again, we're just using this little spatula, or sometimes you call it a skid. It guides in our repair device, and I'm just using it to make sure I've got this reduced. Trying to get an idea of the tissue quality as well. Okay. Okay, so this is what we've been able to salvage. You had a, a tough problem this morning because your meniscus was split horizontally twice. So basically there was a cut here and another cut back at the menisco capsular junction. And so we've got, this is the far posterior aspect of it. You can see that we had to place one kind of circumferential stitch because there was no way to put in a suture that would hold through all the different splits here. So that's a circumferential stitch. And then we've got on the left side of the screen here, we've got two more sutures. So we've got four sutures holding this meniscus down and holding it repaired, giving that a chance to heal. Even if all of this doesn't heal, whatever does heal is going to be a win compared to taking out this entire meniscus all the way up to here. Because otherwise, we'd have to resect from right about here all the way back to the posterior root. So hopefully we'll get most of this to heal. Um, but you can see the, uh, the tissue that we were dealing with today. Okay, so that's the meniscal repair. And now let's look and see what we've got going on with this ACL tear. We'll show you that in just a second here. I'm going to take the camera over to the area of the knee we call the notch, where the cruciate ligaments live. We've got to clear up a little bit of space first, so we'll go off on the video and show you that in a minute. Okay, so this is where the ACL should be, running right up in this direction here, and it's completely absent. We spent a little bit of time clearing out some of the soft tissue so that we can um, place our new graft right in this position here. The graft's going to run basically just like that instrument you see up towards the back of the knee. And we're going to make a hole in the tibia down here. Now before we do that, we're going to look in the lateral side and look at the patella. But it looks like we have pretty a pretty clear shot here to the back of the knee. Just to reinforce what we did earlier, there's the meniscal repair over here. 
and that looks stable and I'm happy with the way that meniscus repair looks okay okay here's what we've got to assess here we've got this meniscus tear on the lateral side also you see a little bit of wear and tear changes on the condyle up above see right in here but what I'm looking at right now is this meniscus which has this split right here see that and then it has this undersurface tear right here that concerns me a little bit more and then back here posteriorly it's got this tear here and that concerns me too so we've got to decide what to do with this meniscus to stabilize it got a couple choices we're gonna go off on the video and make some plans here okay so we're looking at the patella yet a little flap here we had to debreed if I can focus right here and I'm just making sure there's nothing else loose hanging down that looks pretty stable now okay the rest of the patellar cartilage looks pretty good here we can look down at the trochlea which is the notch that the patella glides in and as we make a little room so we can see here this looks good all the way down to the front of the knee okay so the trochlear cartilage looks pretty good I'll show you some more in just a minute okay so we've just finished repairing the lateral meniscus we've got one stitch here that's great and another stitch actually it's gonna be hard to see because of what I just did but another stitch right back there okay and it's holding that meniscus that second one is a circumferential stitch and now we're going to go ahead and take our what you got a burr yes, hold the knee up so it doesn't just yeah, just push your push that way towards her we're just going to put in a shaver and a burr just to make sure that there's no nothing else in the way here before we make our tunnels in the bone okay so we're making good progress so we've repaired the medial and lateral meniscus we've done a patellofemoral chondroplasty and now we're about to get to work on making a tibial tunnel which is going to be down here right at the tip of that shaver and then we're going to make a femoral tunnel up here and then we're going to pass the graft okay what we're showing you here now is our drilling into the femur we've already made a tibial tunnel and we're going to take this to a depth of about 35 or so there's 40 there's 35 and that's a good tunnel there so I just want to show you that you have very robust hamstrings we've got a nine millimeter tunnel here and now we're going to uh, go ahead and use our endo button drill Turn the pump. We're going to turn the pump off here. Okay. And that's just to save a little bit of water. So the next drill is a little bit smaller. It goes all the way across the um, femur here. There it is going up. okay and so now we're getting ready to take some measurements so I want to come back up on the video we can see that the overall tunnel length is right at about 56 okay and if we put 25 millimeters of the graft in our overall graft length is going to be this distance plus 25 going out to the tibial cortex so we'll go ahead and measure that next okay I just want to show you where we're at here we are um, pulling the graft into position. I'm going to turn a little bit of suction here. So 
So let's suck a little bit. I'm trying to get a clear picture for you. There we go. So that little gold device, that's the endo button. We're going to pull that up into position here, as you see, and then the graft is right behind it. There's the graft. You see how the graft goes nicely into that tunnel. It's almost a press fit. Keep that right hand on the other side of the knee. Just keep the knee up. Okay, let me get the picture for us. Okay, here we go. On the camera. On the camera. And once we're confident that's seated, which it is now, we'll go ahead and flip the button. And now that button's flipped, so we've got it fixed on the femoral side. And as we pull back on it, you can see the graft here in position. That looks pretty good. We'll show you some more in just a minute. We're not quite done yet. Okay, so we're done fixing it on the tibial side. As we tense the knee, we can see that that graft's got good tension. As we come into extension, turn the pump pressure on, please. Up, pump on, and pressure on. As we straighten the knee, that graft tucks back nicely. Give me a little bit of a drawer, uh, anterior drawer this time. We're going to look at the knee and see what it looks like. Oh, hold on one second, Vern, I lost you. Okay, now go. Slower. A lot slower. Okay. Okay, good. Okay, relax. Okay, so I think we're going to be finishing up here. We may do a little bit of backup fixation on the tibia, but otherwise I think we're done. So good luck to you now. Bye-bye.